welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl amy here with another youtube video so today i am back and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do nails without a nail drill or a nail lamp so as you can see i decided to use nail forms because um nail forms are easy to use and i do want to have more practice because i'm not the best or and i'm not good at doing nails with nail forms so i decided to have some practice and show you guys how to actually do the nails so as you can see my nails are kind of white it's because i didn't prep my nails i put latex on my nails but if you were like doing a set on yourself and trying to keep the nails i recommend that you guys prep your nails and i think i do have a video showing how i prep my nails so i will link that down below so as you can see i went ahead and filed filed i went ahead and formed all of my five fingers and i'm not the best at doing that but at least i tried I'm sorry that you guys can't see me um, sculpting the nail on the thumb. It's because I didn't know that the phone was recording, but at least I got the other fingers. So as you can see, I started with one bead. Um, I started by making like a little tip, or like like to like extend the nail so I can know where I'm gonna lay my acrylic. And as I was as I was doing that, I was um, shaping it to the desired shape. To be honest, I don't know what kind of shape I want. I was like. I was just like, I'm gonna put it anywhere. I'm just gonna do random beads and like build the nail and like make something. And then I like see what the shape is gonna end up in and decide that that's gonna be my shape. So I wasn't really sure what shape I wanted at this point, but I just like went ahead and used of the shape of that the shape that the form was in. I'm sorry guys, if this first is gonna be bad, I really can't talk right now for some reason. But yeah, I went ahead and did, I think I did a 4 bead method. I don't know, I was trying to do a 3 bead method, but these nails just wanted 4, so I could have like the correct thickness. So I went ahead and added the second bead to at the tip of the nail, and like to add thickness to the tip, and like shape it right, and do all this kind of stuff. Then I went ahead and added my third bead, not my second, I wanted to say second second my third bead under my first bead to add the apex so my nail can be thick enough so it can break off and all that kind of stuff then i went ahead and added my cuticle bead um that was my fourth bead i didn't really i added it like right above the cuticle and then my cuticle so i can even flood the cuticle <laughs> i said cuticle so many times so i went ahead and just pushed it right next to the cuticle but not on the cuticle so we can't flood the cuticle oh my god <laughs> I went ahead and added a bead. I don't know what the hell that bead was, but we're not gonna count it as a bead. So I went ahead and added my first bead to create the tip and like shape it up so I could know where I could put my acrylic. Guys, if I didn't tell you, um, I was using the alpha brush in the number 8, and I was using like a milky white or like an off-white acrylic palette that I made myself. You guys can comment down below if you would like to see me 
if you would like me to make a video on how I made this acrylic and I will link the brush down below ahead and added my my third bead right in my first bead and created an apex created the thickness so my nail could last and then I added the fourth bead and just repeated that in all of my nails I'm so sorry if this voiceover is bad. I can't even explain what I was doing in the video for some reason. I was literally struggling to talk and like tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Now, I don't know if I told you, but like this application wasn't the best because my beads were like so runny. I was I was trying to like make a dry bead, but each and all of them like ended up wet and like runny. So I know I could have done better, and I know I could. I'm very sure I could have done better because this application wasn't the best, but the most it still turned out great. I'm sorry, I can't talk. So I just went ahead and started shaping my nail so it could be my desired shape and now here I was trying to show you guys that I don't like line the I don't line the nail with like the sidewalls of my nail so I could still fix that with my with my um file. So I went ahead and used my nail secret clear and my glitter and I dip my dip my acrylic into my glitter and that bead was dry like I knew the bead was wet, but the glitter like could dry it out, and I was like, "Baby girl, no!" So I went ahead and created like a base, and with the clear acrylic, so I could like lay my glitter on it, like what every normal person would do. Whenever you want to do good, I suggest that you like put down a layer of clear before you add the glitter. I went ahead and got small beads because that glue was like drying out the acrylic so I had to work in small beads so it wouldn't like dry out real fast.
then I went ahead and clear, I went ahead and encapsulated that nail because I wasn't planning to encapsulate the full nail after I did the ombre, but I, I, so I just went ahead and like lightly encapsulated the nail. I went ahead and added the off-white. I was really scared about this because I am so bad at doing ombres because I haven't practiced ombres much. So I just went ahead and like did it and like took that color to the cuticle and oh my god, it was kind of a mess but I did fix it. But I'm sorry I couldn't show that because I was so out of frame so I didn't put that in. Then I went ahead and encapsulated the side of this the I went ahead and cancelled the ombre and then I took the nail forms off when the acrylic dried. So I went ahead and got my hand file and started shaping up my nails. I was so lazy at this point so I didn't, I didn't really file the thumb. I just went ahead and continued filing the other fingers and I was like, oh my god, what shape is that? So I decided to take it out and make it a stiletto because that wasn't the shape I was going for, that wasn't the style I was going for, so I didn't want that to like mess up the whole set, so I went ahead and made that a stiletto nail. And y'all, I know I said the video is like no nail drill, I was so tempted to use my nail drill, but even when I filed this nail off camera I did not use my nail drill because I do understand like how hard it is like file with a nail file like when I just started I didn't have a nail drill so I had to like hand file everything but it took me forever to file the stiletto nail into it to file the nail into the stiletto because I didn't have a, I didn't get to use my nail drill so I went ahead and filed my other finger and decided to do that later. So I just started shaping it and filing the top, getting the bulk off, um, touching the top to see if there's like any bumps or like dips or anything, and sealing the cuticle. I know some people say like you can't really seal the cuticle with like a hand file, but I managed to do it just to make sure you're not hurting or filing on your skin. So I just shaped the nail and like filed it and all that and then I repeated the same thing in all the nails. So when I was done I went ahead and buffed the nail so I could have like sm a smooth surface for my top coat. I decided to use my gel polish. I'm sorry, I know I said no lamp, but you could definitely use um a like you could definitely use um a nail polish top coat. I just wanted my nails matte, so I didn't have like a nail polish top coat that was matte. I only had a gel polish, so I decided to go ahead and use my gel polish. But I promise you guys, you could definitely use a nail polish top coat if you have one that's matte. Or shiny, depends on what you want. So I went ahead and top coated all the nails. I was kind of happy with these about these nails, but I know I could do it better because. This set was just like the application wasn't the best. So I decided to add some rhinestones because I felt like the set was kind of boring without some blank. So I went ahead and added some blue and cured the nails for 60 seconds in my nail room. Then I went 
ahead and got my little brush and like dampened it with um, alcohol and brushed it off the like brushed off the residue. I don't know if that the matte top coat had like a sticky layer, but I just went ahead and like brushed and cleaned cleaned my nails. Oh my god, I can't talk. I went ahead and added some cuticle oil just to moisturize my cuticles after all the work that they had to go through. Then I went ahead and rubbed it with my fingers. And see how this set turned out. I was pretty happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys try this at home. I did not need any kind of nail gel. I didn't did actually use my nail gel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the crew because we're going to be popular. We're going to be lit. And thank you guys so much for watching.